Today, the Colts will honor community heroes at their training camp. It's a great day for it. The team is holding its Armed Forces Day and Frontline Worker Day. CBS 4's Eric Pointer is live in Grand Park Westfield right now with a preview. Good morning. Well, good morning to you. So here today, there'll be discounted concessions and they'll be hosting special guests in their hospitality suites. What spokesperson from the Colts says this is their way of saying thank you to those who help keep us safe. Now, Frontline Workers Day is new, but Armed Forces Day has been going on for years. This is video of the last time they were able to have it in 2019. They didn't have it last year due to COVID. Now that it's back, there will be military vehicles on display for families to take pictures of and other family friendly activities. Now, Director of Patient Safety for Franciscan Alliance, Julie Glover considers herself a big Colts fan and says she's grateful for their appreciation. One of the things that has been disappointing is as this drags on and as we are more short staffed and as people are tired and as people um, are seeing our numbers go back up, there's not a lot to celebrate. There's not a lot to um, take pride in and so for somebody to sort of reset that a little bit and say we know you're still there is is really huge and it is much appreciated i love the colts for doing that i think it's great now, Perry Fiscus, who you just heard from, he served in the Air Force out of high school and as a self-proclaimed monstrous Colts fan and a member of the Blue Crew tailgating group, he's excited to see the Armed Forces Day back this year. And Colts City opens this morning to fans at 8 o'clock and practice starts at 10, but it's free to come here, but you need to download a free ticket. And we've got a link to download a ticket on our website, CBS4Indy.com. Live here at Colts City, Eric Pointer, CBS4 News. <laughs>